It's hard to hear you with that pity dick in your mouth. We're gonna form a super duper fucking group. We need them tough, morally flexible, and young enough to carry their own franchise for 10 to 12 years. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. It's always fun to dogpile on Marvel and Disney's follies, but the very real situation on their hands is pretty dire. After several high-profile disasters in 2023 with the flops of Ant-Man 3 and the Marvels, Kevin Feige has his work cut out for him. It seems that someone at Disney has finally checked the financial statements and saw that something needed to be done. Cue the big pause. Kevin Feige has completely halted the MCU's schedule and pace of releases. This year, only one MCU movie will be released. But can Deadpool 3 save the entire franchise? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive deep into the dumpster fire that is the MCU. After years of getting two to three Marvel movies released every year for a decade, we're finally seeing a slowdown. The big pause of the MCU is widely apparent in 2024. The last few years have not been kind to Disney's Marvel. Phases 4 and 5 have been utter disasters with flop after disappointing flop. I can't even count how many movies have performed disastrously in theaters. Black Widow, Shang-Chi, The Eternals, Doctor Strange, and the Multiverse of No Madness, Ant-Man 3, The Marvels, all performed terribly at the box office. The only two bright spots were Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and Spider-Man No Way Home. That's a lot of failures. It's one thing to have one or two flops. It's all right, you can't get them all. But to have multi-year slumps is simply unacceptable if you're a Disney stockholder. Shareholder activist Nelson Peltz thinks so too. He's made it his mission to clean house at Disney and return the company to profitability. But he's also got his work cut out for him. Firing all the woke activists that have become completely entrenched in the firm will not be easy. But in the meantime, I think that Kevin Feige is running scared and trying to salvage what he can after his failure to come up with a coherent plan and strategy for the MCU's post-endgame future. Enter the X-Men. The X-Men have been a Marvel mainstay ever since their debut in 1963. They had a couple of big hits in the early 2000s with the first ever live action adaptations by Fox. Disney's acquisition of Fox has been seen as a boon for the MCU. We would finally see Wolverine fight alongside the Hulk, Spider-Man, and the Avengers. But Kevin Feige has been slow to introduce these characters. Many thought that the point of the multiverse saga would solve that problem. But with the debacle that was Jonathan Majors, Marvel needed to quickly pivot to save what they could, and they decided to use Loki and Deadpool to do it. The terrible Loki Disney Plus show essentially set up the titular character as the ruler of the multiverse instead of Jonathan Majors' Kang the Conqueror, and it's been widely publicized that Deadpool 3 will bring together both universes. Now, this is difficult enough as it is, but using Deadpool to meld together two universes seems like an odd choice. What's even stranger is Deadpool 3's leaked plot synopsis. How can this supposed leaked plot bring together the universes? The unofficial plot synopsis reported by MovieWeb reads, After facing some professional setbacks while going through a midlife crisis, Wade Wilson decides to officially retire Deadpool and become a used car salesman. But when his friends, family, and the whole world are at stake, Deadpool decides to bring his katanas out of retirement. He recruits an unwilling and wary Wolverine to not only fight for their survival, but ultimately their legacy. Now, if you were to tell me that that was the plot of a standalone Deadpool movie, I'd say, okay, sounds plausible. But this is Deadpool's supposed first appearance in the MCU. In that context, the plot synopsis makes no sense. Unless they're going to somehow tie it in via a post credit scene, I'm not really sure how they can use Deadpool to bring the X-Men into the MCU. It seems that Deadpool 3 was always supposed to be its own thing. It was always going to do well. So Kevin Feige and company saw that as their way of salvaging the wreck they themselves have created. By inserting themselves into Deadpool 3, they could leech off of the success of others. But this is not a winning strategy. People will see right through that and they risk alienating whatever fan base they have left. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of the first two Deadpool films, even Josh Brolin's iteration of Cable, one of my favorite characters from the comics. 
And I'm very much looking forward to Deadpool 3, but I'm not very hopeful in its attempt to rescue the very badly damaged MCU. Like with Star Wars, Marvel has experienced a massive degradation of quality of both their movies and TV shows. The extreme oversaturation of content emerging from Marvel Studios really diluted the brand. Alienating the movie-going audience by having a lot of plot and character details only revealed in Disney Plus shows didn't help matters either. With so much content, it became too difficult for normie audiences to follow, so most of them completely tuned out, further exacerbating the financial losses they've been experiencing. Basically, people just stopped caring. So where does the MCU and Deadpool go from here? Like Star Wars, Marvel needs to let its audience breathe for a bit. Take not just one year off, but a few years off. This time off will help them write better stories. It's really difficult to have to come up with great stories in the first place, but it becomes completely impossible when you have to do it two to three times a year on top of keeping up with a whole slate of TV shows. When you have so much content so often, it dilutes the brand and quality ultimately suffers. Deadpool 3 is the only Marvel movie releasing in 2024. Is this really the big pause that Marvel and Disney need to regroup? Or is it just the calm before the storm with more flops coming? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.